What's up guys, this is Cody here, and I am back with another Pokemon Go video because there is yet again another way to cheat on this game. So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know about it in case you know you weren't able to use the other methods that I posted. If you haven't checked those out, be sure to check them out. I'll put links in the description below. But in this video, you don't have to have a jailbroken phone and you don't have to have a computer. And this cheat is actually going to allow you to walk around as well as teleport and change the speed in which you walk. So basically all the exact same tweaks that you were getting in the other videos, except you don't have to be jailbroken and you don't need a computer. So this is how you're going to do it. So it's really simple and straightforward. I'll walk you through the entire process. You just wanna to go to tutuapp.com. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can just tap on it. And then you wanna tap on this big green button at the bottom, which is going to install this Tutu app. So you should get a little pop up here. We'll tap on install. And at this point, it should start installing on your springboard right here. So once that's done installing, you're going to have to trust a developer to open it. Now before you do anything, I went ahead and deleted Pokemon Go off my device. I don't know if that's 100% necessary, but I went ahead and did it. So if you do run into issues, try that option as well. So you'll see right here, if we go ahead and tap on this app that we're going to have to trust a developer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now keep in mind, I do not know who this developer is, so I don't know if it's actually safe or not. So this is something that you wanna keep in mind while you're going through this process. If it's worth it to trust this developer or not, you're gonna to have to do this for the Pokemon Go app as well. So let's go ahead and trust this developer for the time being. And then we're going to go over here. So now that we've trusted that developer, we can go ahead and open up the app. So when we open up the app, this is the home screen and this is the application that you wanna download right here. So there's multiple Pokemon Go apps on this app but you want to download this one. So if you tap on this, you're going to see that it says go v1.0.2. Now this is the one that you want to download. There's another one that says Pokemon Go, and that's not the correct one. If you download that one, then you're not going to get the cheats. This is the one you want to get if you want the cheat. So you just want to download uh, by tapping on this big green button down here at the bottom, and then it should start to download and install right there. And it shouldn't take too long, and it'll put it right there on your uh, springboard once it's complete. All right, so it's complete. So now you just tap on install when you get the little pop up there. And then when you go to your springboard, you can see it's installing. So when we tap on this app, we're actually going to get another developer trust certificate. So if we tap on that, you can see that we're gonna to have to trust the developer. So we're gonna go over into settings and then tap on trust whatever that dude's name is or whatever this people's name is. <laughs> so we swipe over here and we go ahead and open this up. And this is actually going to give you all of those cheats. So I'm gonna allow it to use my location and you'll see the uh, cheats right up here in the top left hand corner already before we even log in. So I had to close out of the application and then open it back up and now it's working. So it just kind of froze there at the beginning when I opened it up. So now we're just gonna put in our information and then we'll sign in. All right, so you can see here that if we tap on these up here, you can see right here we have run. So if you tap on it again, it's drive. And then we also have walk so basically this is the uh, one times two times or four times the speed in which you want to travel so we'll just tap on drive here and then you have just a faint d-pad basically that's going to allow you to move around when you tap on it you can see it a lot better so we'll just tap start moving and you can basically see how that works very simple just like you would on the other tweaks now if you tap right here in the middle this is a teleport button so if you have coordinates for a specific Pokemon, then you can put it in right here and then teleport to it. Now, teleporting is always gonna kind of raise a red flag when you're cheating, so just keep that in mind. If you have coordinates, you can put them in here, or if you don't wanna get caught, then I wouldn't use that feature. You also have another button right over here in the far left that is a home button. So if you tap on that, it's actually going to bring you back to where you started. So it says you're going to move 198 meters. Please bear in mind that it may cause your Google account locked but it could be fixed four hours later. So is it worth it? Probably not. I would tap forget it, and then if you needed to go home, which is basically just where we started back over here, then you would just walk there or drive there. Now, I didn't find this method by myself. I actually found it through a YouTuber called Tech Tips. So 